Hey guys, Radio Dave here, and I got a bit of a tutorial I'm going to show you how to do. I'm trying to think of something that I can teach you guys how to do, because I don't know shit. But the one thing I do know is, uh, I guess, like radio production, recording production, that kind of stuff. I worked in radio for a long time, and uh, I mean, we're on episode 108 of Radio Dave's Radio Waves right now. So I guess I could show you guys how to do that. How do you record a mix and put it all together and send it all out there? That's what we're going to do. We're going to go through it. So I recorded a mix last night, episode 108 of Radio Dave's Radio Waves, and I've got it open here now in Adobe Audition. So here's what we use. I'm going to switch over so you can see it. Adobe Audition. I've already got it loaded in here, as you can see. So this is the whole file, the whole recording. comes out to about, what, 115 minutes or so, give or take. So uh, I recorded it using Serato DJ Pro. Get all my tracks loaded in here and, you know, record. You guys know how to do that. I would hope so anyway. If you don't, we can get into that another time, how to actually record it. So this is when you've got your mix recorded. You want to edit it. You don't know how to do it. Right, let's go through it. Okay, so you see I've got it all loaded up in here. Now, well, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. So you can see it looks like a standard waveform. I can record it pretty low usually. It usually comes in at about minus 12 dB. We, we can do all that boosting later. But you can see there's a couple of breaks in there, stuff like this. So what the fuck is that? Okay, so I know as a DJ at the core, you kind of want to, you want to do your whole mix, you want to record it out, you want to get it in one take. That's fucking impossible. Unless you're like, you're using sync or you're, uh, you're a god and you've been doing this thing for a million years. I can get it on one take sometimes, but in order to pump out a podcast episode every couple of weeks, that's fucking impossible. You can't get it in one take. It would take me forever. When you work, work, you got kids, you got a wife, you got a full-time job, it's just not feasible. So, what you're doing is you record, you record, you're going through your mix, everything's going good. And then you feel like you fucked up your transition. So what do you do? Do you throw it all away? You're 30 minutes into your mix, are you going to restart the whole thing? Are you going to leave that chunk of the mistake in there? What are you going to do? So here's what I do. I go back to the point where I fucked up, put cues on where I want it to start, and bam, I just start recording from there. find where I make the mistake, drop back in. Probably, I know it's probably going to put a shiver down your spine that it's not completely fully live. Or This is the real world. This is reality. This is where we're at. So it's okay. Nobody's going to judge you. And if they do, they're an asshole. They don't know what they're talking about. So what we're going to do, we've got the whole file in here. Now that we got that out of the way, we're going to import it into multi-track. We're just going to start a new session. That's fine. If you don't, you don't have to use Adobe Edition. I use Adobe Edition because this is what I grew up using in radio, and it's my fucking favorite. And I think it'll be your favorite too after you see what we can do with it. So we'll drop it all in here. Here's the session. And we'll immediately we'll get to we'll get to work. So we got a little bit of a tail on there at the beginning. A little bit of dead air at the beginning. So we're gonna tighten that up a bit so it starts quicker. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now we're gonna start going through and looking for those breaks. Usually you can keep notes about where the breaks were and what you did, how you fucked it up. <laughs> but if you don't keep notes and just go through, you'll be able to see it. So everything looks pretty smooth. Everything's connected. Everything's looking good. But we saw in the waveform that it was probably been six minutes in was when I made my first mistake. So here we go. We can see it right here. You can see the breaks where I was fucking around. Okay, so that's where I fucked up. You can hear it. So here's the break. Let's take two. Take three. Is that where I got it? Yeah. So I fucked up twice in that in that last drop. So what we'll do? We can split this, and this is going to go right here. You can almost see where it lines up already. Where I fucked it up. We'll just edit that in a bit, close the gap. And we're looking somewhere about here, I think. You can usually tell the waveform should be fairly similar, aside from where you fucked up. Let's give that a listen. Who's going to fucking know? I believe the other mistake was here. 
Yeah, right there. You heard it get out of sync. So, we'll do the next split there. We'll do the same thing. Tighten that up. So it should be right there. And you can see the waveforms should be matching up a little bit somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah. So, looking at it. Yeah. Bring that in and give it a peek. Smooth like butter. Now we'll go through, we'll find the next one. Depending how often you do it, you can probably zoom out a little more so you can get more of a view. So it looks like there's... Looks like I had a stroke there. So <laughs> let's have a listen and see what happened. Wasn't happy with that. Nope. That's the one. Okay. So we'll do the split. And these are all options that are already default in Adobe Edition. You can just right click anywhere, wherever you want, wherever you want to make the break. Put the red line, right click, and split. And it'll split it into two separate pieces. So you can maneuver them however you want and line them up. I've got these in two different tracks, as you can see here, but I mean, whatever. You don't have to do it like this. This is just how I do it. So, let's give that a listen. Radio Daves, Radio Waves. So, let's keep going through here. I think it was pretty smooth for a little bit after that. Oh, no, looks like there's another one right there. Oh, you know, I love the way you dance. Oh, my God. Awful. What was I, drunk? Okay. Same thing. Tighten it. Find the break. You dance. I love the way you dance. Damn, son. The way you dance. It's almost like I'm perfect. Almost. God. I. This is a good way to see where your levels are too throughout the mix while you're going through. Peak of that about. I don't know what is that. Minus 21. But we'll boost all that after. Right now we're just putting it together so it's all one full listenable file. like that's the next one right there I'm fairly confident that uh okay so that must have been back here a bit yeah Might have to fast double speed this a little bit as I do this. So we're not really listening for anything. It's the kind of mistake that you have to see. Unless you know where you made the mistake in your mix. Helps if you take notes, I guess. Okay, so I did something there. jump back to the first drop there because the song does a tempo change and I was unaware of it so we'll just do that right there looks pretty good there we go my new song what do they want wow for me to be released soon in the fall. Just a shameless plug there while we're doing this. Yeah, looks pretty good. Case looks right here. So. 
comes to partying. There we go. You're really just looking for those breaks where you see flat lines where there is no sound being recorded. That usually means you can fuck it up. Like that right there, see? Okay, so we're looking for those. Split, bring it up. So yeah, to to close the window, you just grab the bottom right corner there, and you can start sliding that as uh, far as you need. We can bring this in pretty uh, nice and tight. Yep, fuck that up. So you pretty much gotta, it, it's all eyes on this for the most part. You're just looking for the waveform. Where the brakes are, where they match up. This is pretty much the only part of DJing that's not ears, not audio. Almost strictly visual. The editing portion, I guess. And I think that was about it for this mix. Oh, well, that looks like we've got another one there. Yeah, this one's exactly the same. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. I do a lot of cuts too, so sometimes the silence is just me bringing the fader down. It's hard to know. Yeah, that was a transition I didn't like. I remember that. I remember recording that last night and being not happy with it. So. So, so you can hear it was a little off there. So I don't replace every mistake, just the ones that are glaringly disgusting. I was a little off there for a couple of beats, but I fixed it pretty quick, so I didn't I didn't re-record that. But I don't want it to be perfect. I still want it to sound real. But I still want it to be a good mix. So we're all done here. We've got all the uh, edits. We've got two different tracks, a full the full mix is on, so if you go to File, and Export, then we're going to mix down the entire multi-track, the entire session. Uh, we're just going to mix it down to an MP3 for now. Let it, let it do its thing. Okay, and you'll see the mix down over here. So if we double-click that, there's the full mix, everything we've done, all the edits. Now... I do a lot more. There's a whole other thing that we can do here. I'll show you basically what we're looking at for when I make my show because there's so much more that goes into it. Here's what a standard session looks like. So there's the file. There's the mix file that I've made before. You are now tuned in to Radio Dave's Radio Waves. I do uh, in introductions. Way through July in the I'll start with the vocal please. breaks. You can see I bring the volume down when I'm talking. I do uh, other liner quick shot and breaks. Here's another top shelf banger on Radio Dave's Radio Waves. Turn it up right now. Hey. So, I mean, there's so many different other things you can do on this 
We're not going to get into that today. This is strictly just the mix. You've got it recorded. You want to edit it. You want it to sound good. What can you do? So we'll bring this back to here. And uh, the next step here, what I would normally do when I finish my entire session, I would put this in into my normal session that I just showed you like this. And when, and when I put it all together, then I would do my final step. But we're going to just jump to the final step right now. Because this is, you might not want to put an intro. You might not want to build a show. You just want to get your mix out. So here's what we're going to do. You can see the levels aren't exactly a level going across, and we're at minus 12, so it's super fucking quiet. So, oh, we can fix that easy. We'll go to Effects, Amplitude, and Compression, and we're going to put a hard limiter on this bad boy. Now, it's got some presets in here, in Adobe Edition, whatever version this is, but I've got some custom ones that I prefer to do. We want the maximum amplitude, 0 0.1 dB. Input boost, about 15.6, depending on, you know, where you're looking at here. I'm about minus 12, minus 13, minus 14 dB, so I want to get up to just above zero. The look ahead time, 7 milliseconds. Release time, 100 milliseconds. I don't even know what those two things do. But we're going to apply this right now, and just watch what happens. Now we're talking, look at that. It's almost pretty equal all throughout. There's still be a little bit lows and stuff where... Uh, some of the recordings are lower, some of the songs are more mellow, but for the most part, this is pretty straight and boosted the whole way through. That's got a little extra punch to it. That sounds good. You can see down here we're peaking at about just under zero. That's good. You can go more than that if you want, you can go higher, but... And you could be, be blowing out people's eardrums. I don't think you need to do that. So, you just want to get your mix out. You want to get it sounding good. You don't want any breaks or cuts. What effects do you throw on it? Nothing. Just put a hard limit on it. You're good to go. All these songs are mastered. They're ready to go. They're ready to be listened to already. You don't have to fuck with them. So, now we'll just save this as whatever you want to save it as. It'll take a minute to save. And then you're good. Then you're good to go. Throw it up on SoundCloud. Mixcloud. Dropbox, send it to your grandmother. I don't know. Whatever you need to do with it. That's a whole other thing. But now you know how you can take your recording and uh, put it together. Get it sounding good and uh, ready for people's ears. So remember, you don't need to do it all in one take. You can do it in a million takes. It doesn't matter. As long as you clean up all the breaks all through it, which I just showed you how to do, you can get a DJ mix out tomorrow. Don't worry about being perfect. Just be good. All right. I'll see you guys next time.